What's going on, everybody? It's natural. We in the building with a video. What's going on, y'all? Hit that like button for your girl. Hope everybody having a blessed, blessed Saturday. Staying sucker free. You know what I'm saying? Like me. So me, I'm just, you know, relaxing. Of course, I'm staying sucker free. I ain't got too much going on. Ain't nothing on the agenda today. Over here in the Cleveland City streets, it's kind of chilly out there. Actually, it's cold. You know, it's been raining for the past couple days. So, it's still damp and muddy. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. It's a real gloomy day in the city. But I just thought I would come live. You know, Mrs. Days, of course, she talking crap about Mama D. Sitting up there looking like a whole mongoose with lashes. I mean, she giving mon of the goose. Mm-hmm. With lashes. Thank God she got those done. Because, honey, she was killing me. She was a whole eyesore out here on these YouTube streets. So, I'm glad she got it together. She had an appointment where she had to get her, her hooves sanded down or whatever. You know, I got them painted. And when she had to get her baseball gloves up to par. You know what I'm saying? You know, Miss Days can't, you know, she can't roll like that. You know, Miss Days don't roll like that. You know. So, she had to get the, you know, all this, the, um, you know, the scum and everything else, the grime and the grit. She had to get all of that scraped from up underneath her hooves. You know, she had to get it sanded down. You know, she had like a three-hour soap period. So, I mean, that whole procedure, I, I, yeah, that, that was a procedure. That wasn't an appointment. That was a procedure of the jury, which she definitely needed. But let me quit. Y'all know not just playing. Y'all hit that like button for your girl. So, every time Miss uh, Mama, uh, Mama D... Every time Miss Dazed get another spot to stay at, that's her opportunity to get into Mama D. Because like I said, we all know that she do not like Mama D. She only come around when it's beneficial um, to her. If she need a place to stay, uh, if she need a ride, you know, something of that nature. That's pretty much it. A ride and a place to stay. You know what I'm saying? So as long as she don't need um, Mama D's roof. She's going to find a way to get it in. I, here we go. That's her most recent video, honey. Now, I really think that she mad because Mama D got a paid um, caretaker. You know, she got one of them home health aides that's being paid. So, I think Adrian kind of feeling some kind of way about that because she thought that she was going to be one. <laughs> so, I think Adrian a little mad. I think Adrian a little upset, y'all. Mm-hmm. Good morning, people. Mm, why she always do that goof troop shit? The sun is shining on me. The sun is shining. Adrian wouldn't be Adrian if she just didn't do something goof troopish. She is just a whole goof troop. But always got to be something goofy going on with her before she get into what she got to get. It's always something. You know, I ain't never just like a goofy old broad mongoose looking at. Oh. The city's shining. Look. Good morning, people. Wow. Uh -uh. Y'all know I got to run that, that bad. The city's shining. <laughs> Good morning. What? what? Have y'all ever. The city's shining. <laughs> Oh my God, this it just is crazy. Y'all know she ain't got up and washed her eyes or nothing. <laughs> oh man, but she is tickled at that old son. What's going on, Dawn? She is tickled. Uh, she said, <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, Adrian, when you gonna grow up? When you gonna grow up, honey? Okay, start your morning happy. Start it happy first off. Even though I didn't do it yet. Oh, she ain't brushed out the Bible or something, y'all. Oh, you know, protection. Yeah, you can tell she ain't brushed her teeth. You know, you know when a person done got up and, and, and did right by themselves. You don't know when a, a nigger done got up and got right by themselves. You know what I'm saying? Got right about themselves, you know? And then got up, they done, you know, hopped into H2O. You know, it been raining for three days um, over here in my city. So it really ain't no excuse. I'm sure if it's raining over here, it was raining over there. Oh, you had to, you, 
Yeah, you could have took and put that chair right outside in the middle of that storm and got right. And we wouldn't even been mad at you. You could have recorded and everything. I wouldn't have said nothing. I wouldn't even did a video. I don't let you ride. Honey, but you just look like you ain't brushed your chisel. You ain't brushed your teeth. You ain't cleaned up. Man, she still got that towel hung up, though, where she says every time she used the restroom. Oh, then she got the nerve to have that five pound, um, that five, um, that, that, uh, what you call that damn thing? Where she pokes, what you call that? The bucket. She had the five pound bucket in her room trying to act like she ain't used it yet. Do y'all believe that? I believe Adrian be using the bathroom in that bucket. I do believe that. I believe that. She claims shit, but why you got it sitting right there? And then she got like a little, um, thing on it to cut, you know, to cover it up. So a person can't really tell that it was a bucket. Adrian, why you got that bucket sitting right there, bro? Don't y'all got, y'all got a whole bathroom. Yeah, let me find, girl, let me find out. You over there squatting your, but how would that work for you? Your knees is already bad. The, the, the bucket ain't, but so high, how is you? Oh, I guess you hold it up. You bring it up to size, huh? I guess you hold it up to you. Oh man, Adrian, let me find out, child. You better, some things you. Just the daily prayer. I didn't do it yet. But I promise you I will. It gives me a peace of mind. I feel like it helps me get through my day. But listen, do not allow mm -hmm. people to steal your joy. I'm talking about any person, even your mama. It could be your mama. And in my case, it is my mama. So let me go ahead on and break Ooh. this little story. The beast is out, y'all. We just had that old eclipse. She got the sun uh, beaming directly on her, honey. Ooh, the beast is out for show, honey. Now, real quick, mm. and tell y'all what to do, or at least what I'm going to do about it. But I'm going to try to give some advice to the people out there that might want it. To, Ooh. Okay? Calm yeah. down, Adrian. First communication of the day. Oh, where were All right. I'm getting up. I should have got my brows done, too. But they ain't brilliant. They're not bad. I think I got oh, she done went and got some damn glitter on her nail. I hate when she get glitter on her big hooves. I hate that. It just don't look right on the big, on, on the big foot or a big hand. You know, your hand, her hands is about as big as her foot. It just, the glitter just don't give, you know, for su such a size, you know, for a hand such a size. You know, I, I can see if it was like smaller, petite, then, you know, the glitter kind of, you know, you know, but baby, mm -mm, nah, side squatches don't need to wear glitter. That's mm. to clean them up right up up there. Cause they're not bad. I had them done a couple weeks ago. They're not bad. Now. No, they not bad, but look at the face they connected to. That's bad. Uh -uh. The lashes not, behind, I mean, the uh, bra's not, but look at what it's connected to, honey. That's the issue. Give me a second. I'm trying to get it to play. I don't know what happened. All right, my bad. I don't know what happened, but y'all seen I kept pressing it. It wouldn't let me press uh, play, so I don't know. But we back in effect. Brows done too, but they ain't brilliant. They're not bad. I think I got a razor to clean them up right up up there. Cause they're not bad. I had them done a couple weeks ago. They're not bad. Now, this is what I mean, y'all. This is a classic case of how you don't allow people to steal your joy, okay? I have clothes. God. As soon as you see this big beast stump in the room, your whole the whole uh, mood change. So I don't know why she always she be talking about her damn self all of the time. You talking about a joy stiller, honey. As soon as you walk in the room, honey, child, the joy is, is going out. As soon as you come in, joy is going out. So I was staying with my mother. Okay, so I have clothes that's in her basement. Mm hmm. Now. As long as I was staying here with her. Now, why you ain't get them clothes last time you was over there? You made sure you came home with that old corned beef sandwich. 
You were saying you was gonna get your clothes um before you know before that video. So you mean to tell me you so stupid and you where you ain't get your clothes that time? You made sure you got that tiger dress. We ain't never seen that. I mean, we made sure you, you, know, you got that. What's going on? Look at look how she looking in the camera. <laughs> look how she looking. Look at there. If that ain't fitting, look at there. Woo, and that, that wasn't even done on purpose, but it show it. <laughs> it was fine. No problem. The clothes ain't down there bothering nobody. How can clothes bother somebody? Okay, oh, unless they dirty or stink or something like that. There you go. See, look. You know, but my clothes. They're your clothes. So you mean to tell me they smell like Irish Spring and flowers? I don't believe that. Especially, yeah, well, I about to say, she don't wear too much, too many pants. So, I about to say the trouser area. But she don't wear too many, so them old, yeah, okay. So, I guess them Timu dresses, they probably, you know, okay. Those are in her storage area, locked away in there with her stuff. My mother knows this. Okay, she knows this, y'all. This lady, you know, and I hate to say it, but the pain, y'all, that she be. Uh, dollar sign chat, 81 cash. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Super chat is working. Hit something or hit the road. You feel me? And it's, it's chronic pain. And I understand, y'all. Y'all know I've been around. I know that. But listen, just because it's her pain don't make it anybody else's problem. You know, hey. I'm not going to allow her to do it. That's just so harsh. Why is she so mad? Why are you so mad? Now, you sitting here mad, but you're not really saying why you really, really mad at Mama D, what she did. Because she keep calling you, saying she needs you to do something for her? And you felt like this how you should do a comeback? This what you should be like? This what you should say? Because you're not giving no uh, explanation as to why you just mad at Mama D. You ain't saying she did too much or nothing but threatened to throw away your clothes. Well, I wonder what triggered that. She ain't just threatening to throw your clothes away just out of the blue for no reason. What did you do? Or is it what, did, what didn't you do? You know, like I said, I feel like she mad because Mama D went on and got her um, a caretaker that's getting paid. So Miss Days feel like, you know, why should she do something for her own mama, you know, for free? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To speed up my day if I'm not ready. Um, to irritate me if I'm not ready. I'll turn off the ringer. See, I'm going to tell y'all, <laughs> this lady's mad. She's mad. She's very upset. The only leverage she knows that she has over me are those clothes that are in her basement that are not bothering anybody. And as long as I was living... Why would well, you should have been got your clothes? Why are your clothes... You've been... Ugh. Why do I keep capturing these moments like this? I got to be careful, honey. I got to be careful when I pause, because, baby, ooh, Lord, this is distraction. This is an eyesore, I tell you. Look at this, but it'd be so fitting, don't it? Oh, I forgot what I bought the damn... Under her roof? Oh, it was fine. <laughs> but now that I'm gone and on my own, oh, she can't stand it. Oh, she cannot stand it. Own. She got nothing to call me up. Even as how it was supposed to be. What I'm going to do today to solve this problem is have someone take me over to her house. Please brush your teeth because what I this was a distract that all caked up in you. Ooh, I just want to take a I just God. So, my you need a caretaker. Somebody need to come over there and give and sponge bath your big ass to the T. I'm sick of abuse. You need a caretaker, Miss Days. You can't take care of for nobody. You can't even caretake for your damn big ass self. Look at you. This is unacceptable, Adrian, though. Okay. Get my clothes. She had already threatened to throw them out, y'all. I don't know why my mother be on, on the evil shit. Well, be except for the pain. I'll give her that excuse. Well, now, Belkalese, Belkalese, yeah, whatever, the Bell College. What's going on? And I'm not going to let it affect me. So, I'm sorry. You know, I feel bad for And the thing is, Miss Days always end up eating her words because we all know she don't stay nowhere long. So she always end up back. This ain't the first time she made a video like this. She always end up back at Mama D house. 
she always eating her words, though. So, like I said, if I was Mama D, the next time, honey, psh, I would have something for Miss Days. I would have something for her. But, of course, I mean, that's her daughter. So, I can't really. I said I would. Because that, that, ain't, that ain't a damn thing, me. So, if I was, you know, I can only say if I was Mama D, you know. Honey, ooh, I would have something for her. She always got something to say and a whole lot, lot of, you know what I'm saying, shit talking to do when she got a little old place to stay. And like I say, she she need to humble herself because she should know out of all people, it's not going to last long. You're going to end up running back to Mama D. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, Felicia? What's going on, Kenyatta? Oh, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Adrian will be back over her mama house. I wouldn't let her come in at all, baby. What's going on? All right. I really do because her quality of life. Listen. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> Why she keeps talking about her mama quality of life? It's just the way she be wording things. She always trying to use, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's so, just the way she be wording things. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't take all that. But why are you even talking about your mama quality? Quality? What you mean quality of life? What you mean? Because she got a couple of health issues? Damn. What about your quality of life or lack thereof? Miss Wobble Wobble. Yeah, shake it, shake it. Bitch, you ain't got nothing going on. You can't get around good. You bout in Mama D's predicament. You can't retch around and watch your ass like you're supposed to. You don't bathe. You know, you got uh, Mama D's teeth hung up in your head. But yet, here you are. Talking shit. <clears throat> I be in pain, too. Almost every day. Sick of you. I don't take it out on Yeah, so food. why are you talking about some discussing somebody else's quality of life? Honey, you 51 years old and your quality of life is about the same as Mama D. Y'all just got different issues. Don't play. You know, I'm not trying to use leverage on nobody to make them do this or do that. Y'all... No. And this is all she Man, had. Man, Uncle right Raynette now. is done. I don't think she'll ever uh, be able to double that up. I think that's a, a one hitter quitter. I don't believe Miss Days would ever be allowed to go back over and stay over at Uncle Raynette's house. Now, we don't know what happened upon the departure. We don't know the whole story. See, she don't talk about or speak on things like that. She keep quiet about things like that. You know what I'm saying? That's because she lies so much, she would have to definitely tell the truth as to what you So she don't tell the truth. So she don't speak on when she can't dance around the truth. You know, she lied so bad. So we didn't hear the whole story about that. We don't know what happened. And we never will. But I, I bet that she won't never be over Uncle Ray Nats. She probably won't even go over there and visit. I believe it, it probably was a big blowout over there. Because we all know Uncle Ray Nats ain't really taking You know what I'm saying? I believe she um bought it, bought it, and rotted, rotted. You know what I'm saying? I believe she had, had Miss Days sitting down tucked. I don't believe Mrs. Days is as bad as she want us to believe that she is. I believe Uncle Raynette and that walker and all will have Miss Days in the corner sitting down, shutting up. Period. But yeah, it is what it is. No, she would never make a video about Raynette. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, big, what's her name? Nikwa? Oh, big Nick came through for that ass. She, oh, big Nick said, bitch. <laughs> Ooh, could you imagine that tussle? Two of them big money. Ooh, that you talking about the great avalanches and the damn earthquakes, baby. You talking about shaking that table, honey. You talking about shaking the earth. Y'all think this solar eclipse, bitch. Shit. The eclipse ain't got nothing on them two big bras. Tussling and rumbling around. Could you imagine? You know, I'm not yeah. saying we're not talking. I would love to be there. I'll pay for that ticket. <laughs> I'll pay for that ticket. <laughs> I wasn't out there with the eclipse, but baby. I'll be right out front and center, honey. To see these two big ones. Really going on. I'm just letting y'all know what's going on. And how I'm not going to even allow my mother. Okay. To get in the way or put a monkey wrench in my day. Today is going to be a beautiful day. That's right. And I'm not allowing anyone to ruin it. That's all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nika said you got to go. Next thing we do. <laughs> Adrian was twiddling her toes in the back of that old broke down ass van. Talking about how she's somebody's bribe made by the feet. If you ain't, if you just seen her feet, you would think she was on her way to a damn wedding, honey. Oh, yeah. Nico came down there and, and, and laid down the Liz Nye. I'm going to hold this thing. So that's all I'm saying, guys. 
Don't allow people to, to mess up your day. I don't care who it is, even if it's your mama. Oh, you know, turn off your ringer solution and leave it off until you get ready. Speaking of solution, why don't you go create one? And it's called a water and a soap bath. Bitch, talk about solution. How about you go in there and rustle up one and hop in it? Okay, and rub your whole body. I'm talking about from the top of your head to the bottom of your hoof. I want you to, yeah, solution, yeah. Create one. And uh, hop in it. Until you get ready. Put a little bleach in there. You're good to go, Miss mm -hmm. This is what you do, people, because I know that's what I'm doing. But you know, the toxic part about it is instead you. of just coming out asking me to do something for her, she'd rather try to use whatever she can. And all she got now, y'all, is them clothes that's in her basement. And I'm a type, I'll say, fuck it, throw the shit away. So you're making it seem like Mama D said, if you don't come over here right now, come do what I um tell you to do. I'm about to throw these clothes away. That don't even make sense. What do you mean the only leverage she got? Leverage about what? Because she wants you to do... Hold on, let me run that back. Because am I tripping? Clothes that's in her basement. Hold and on. I something for her. She'd rather try to use whatever she can. And all she got now, y'all, is them clothes that's in her basement. And I'm a type, I'll say, fuck it. Throw the shit away. Yeah, we okay. know. Look at how many clothes that was left in Florida, people. A car that was said it was an accident. Ain't nobody gonna miss none of them Tony the Tiger fits. We ain't gonna miss none of that. Yeah, Mama D, get rid of it. Get you doing. Get rid of it. We is not gonna. We ain't, we ain't gonna miss it. We not. And on a vehicle that was left in Florida. This van that I just bought that was causing me problems got rid of the bitch. Listen, I'm not in. Girl, uh, the line of taking people not a van. Shit. The van was the problem. She got rid of the van because the van was the issue. Not her retarded ass going about it that broke down van. It wasn't her. Nah, it was the van, honey. She had to cut the van off. <laughs> Y'all, Adrian cut the van off. The van didn't cut her off. The van didn't say fuck her. She said fuck the van. Oh, okay. If something don't work, bitch, leave it alone. Get away from it. Let it go. I got no problem doing that. Now, this lady has already threatened to she is. throw the clothes out. Let her do it. Look at that, honey. If she can't wait until I get a ride, because everybody know I ain't got no car, come on now. <laughs> or she can go and take and drop it. Y'all know that little um thing they have at, by the grocery store where you can go and drop off all your, uh, <laughs> all your used clothes and stuff you don't want, honey. Imagine rolling down the projects or... <laughs> Where all the shelters in the homeless people were, honey, and you see somebody walking around in that old Tony the Tiger damn cat suit on, honey. Would I fall out? I'm talking about, you talking about damn near crashing, honey. I would have to pull over and be like, where you get that outfit from, honey? Did she say from the shelter or from the, the, the Salvation Army? So, baby, when you talking about dying of laughter? Yeah, let me ride down there by the where they got the shelters and stuff, and I see somebody where Mama D done donated Adrian's clothes, honey. So we got all type of clucks and homeless people down there walking around with the Tony the Tiger child. Could y'all imagine that, honey? I'm talking about crash, bitch. This is the type of petty stuff I'm talking about. She knows this. I mean, I'm not going to call my phone and Could you imagine? over any type of bullshit. Because I'm just not going to go. I'm going to do what I'm doing now. Vent to my audience. And that's pretty much it. You know? Now, Ooh. I asked my mother if she need help. You know, I called my mother and I asked her, is there something you want me to do? Adrian needs to go in there and brush her. Why are you so close to the camera when you ain't done right by yourself? Why are you doing this to us? Why are you doing this to us, Adrian? Don't you know we can see you? Why won't you go in there and get right by yourself? I don't understand why you won't get up and wash your face and brush your teeth at least. Especially if you're going to be all in front of the camera. You're talking shit. You know. Damn. You do, you do that for you. Ooh. You want me to come over and help you out now? She knows she got to come pick me up. I need to get some more likes, y'all. I'm going to take a little small break. I'm going to need my like button to go up a little bit. And I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back, babe. I see a couple people, you know what I'm saying, showed out with your girl, but that wasn't enough. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Come on, wait. Let me get some likes up, up in her. The, the thing is that I offer, you know, but the thing is... Hey, when you don't offer. I don't believe you offer. I believe you might offer when you need to get, it, uh, get in that car to get around to do something or get something. When you need something from the store. That's probably the only time you might reach out. Like, mama, you need something? Because, yeah, like you're going to say in this video, she's going to have to come pick you up. You know what I'm saying? She's going to have to come pick you up. Why you can't have one of your Johns? Your mom, why you can't have one of them, um, them, them niggers? Why you can't have one of your exes take you over your mama house? You know what I'm saying? They so good to you. And you so warm and fuzzy. Your mama needs you. Why you can't get it? You know what I'm saying? Because she's going to use that as an excuse. Like she ain't got no car. Just that, you know what I'm saying? So she would have to take her. She ain't got no money to really be Ubering around. And this, you know. Well, where, where's your exes at? Honey. The one that uh, you so warm. Like I said, warm and fuzzy. You're back. I offer on my time, not hers. And this is what bothers her. She mad. You know, I'm not under your roof no more, lady, because I know you're going to watch the mm. video. I'm not. Girl, look, 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 look. You see there? She going to eat these words, and we going to go. Soon as she eat them, we going to go. We going to refer back to this video. And y'all, if I forget, forget, y'all remind me. Say natural. Come back and refer to the video. Remember when Adrian was talking about? Yeah, we're going to start pointing these things out. And we're going to start eat, making making her eat her words. She like, she's she, she so hungry. She always hungry. Yeah, we're going to make her eat her words. Under your roof anymore, okay? I don't have to be bothered by Adrian. What'd you say? She never self reflects She may as well prepare to be alone for the... Yeah, because who going to deal with her? Could you imagine somebody dealing with her? Like on the record, like talking about some for the rest of my life till death do us part type. I ain't. I was about to say something, but you know YouTube so sensitive. S e n s i t i v i t. So yeah, you got to watch what you say on uh YouTube. Adrian, ma, ma, ma. No. Ooh. I don't have to be bothered by Adrian. Adrian, ma. No. Oh, y'all hear that beat? The solar eclipses did something. Adrian got some type of effect on that solar eclipse. Y'all hear her say, Ma, Ma, and the way she dragged, Ma, oh, I'll be scared, baby, Ma, honey. I, ooh, I'm a D. Charge, she's sitting out in the sun. She is getting charged up. Hey, now you know, you know a suspect, Mama D, and she's talking all this crap. Now you know a suspect if she call you for two or three hours uh, from now, tomorrow, open the door, I'm outside. No, don't you open up that door because she's going to do something to you. She's getting charged up. Mrs. Days is in reform. I'm going to do if I was you, I'd be scurvy. On my terms, sweetie. And that is it. And that is all. You got a care worker. She's getting paid. Mm -mm. And see, that's the bad part, too. Everybody else. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why she, she's mad. Oh. Yeah, she sounds like a demon. Definitely. She always sound like one. They treat us so much better than me, but I'm the one who is offering to come over there and help you with no pay. No, okay. <laughs> make that make sense. I'm coming over here to help you. Now, yesterday, let me tell y'all what, what happened yesterday. I was going to go to her house. She needs some. She miserable. She going to always be miserable. She going to always be, she just don't have no, um, like, damn, I would hate to be Mr. Days. That's just, and I'm not even, that's just on some, on some real, you know what I'm saying, on some real spit. Like, this, to be this caliber of a woman is, is sad. Like, seriously, I'm not even, I'm not hating. I'm being really, really serious right now. Y'all know natural joke around or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But then the way she speaks, she speak as if, she speak with so much confidence, as if she got everything together, as if she know what she talking about? She can give advice to the people, to the people, to the people. You know, that people supposed to just be, I mean, she, I mean, what? that's how you know. It's the mental issues go deeper than we know. This woman is not well mentally. It's very obvious from her videos. This is proof. Why she talking about she document everything on these videos. Well, yeah, you're definitely, yes. It's documentation and you bat shit crazy. You batshit crazy. Look at you. Mm -mm. Oh, look at her. A whole personal care worker that's... 
I'm coming over here to help you. Now, yesterday, let me tell y'all what, what happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. I was going to go to her house. She needs someone. Mm -hmm. Even though she got wow. a whole personal care worker that's getting paid. Look. Okay. Now she needs somebody. That's what it's all about. If it's not benefiting Mrs. Days, if Mama, if Mama D was to say right now, hey, I got this big ass pot roast on, carrot, potatoes, cornbread. I just ba uh, baked a little uh, cake, whatever. Mrs. Days would have caught a lift then. She would have been on the first thing smoking over there. Or she would have allowed Mama D to come and pick her up. Or whatever the case may be. She would have been over there. See, she ain't had nothing to gain. I guess Mama D wasn't offering anything. Because now she's talking about how she got a caretaker that's getting paid. Why are you worried about Why are you worried about that, though? If your mama called and, and she needed you, I mean, who cares? And you ain't make it to that position. That's why you really mad, but that say a lot about you. Mama D ain't want you to be her caretaker. Because like I said, you can't even caretake for your damn self. You can't take care of nobody else. Look at how you act. Don't nobody want to deal with you. Especially if you and putting a little coin in your pocket. No way. The little things you tip around and do is for free because you ain't doing much. And, and, and trust me, you ain't doing nothing without it benefiting you. You ain't doing nothing without it benefiting you. That's the first thing popped in your head when presented with something. Yeah, every time you was over Mama D House when you had this little... You left, yeah, you left with a corned beef sandwich or you was at Walmart, you got a ride. It was always benefiting you. So quit playing. Of her, um, wash hammy. It's all game, y'all. And my mother really wanted Okay, so it sounds like she asked uh, Adrian to wash hammy. Uh-oh. That's another reason for Miss Days to spaz out. But y'all know she can't stand hammy. Y'all know she already jealous of hammy. So that probably blew her off the top. You know what I'm saying? How Adrian always probably waking up on the wrong side of the bed because she always mad and mean and evil and ugly. So Adrian probably already felt some type of way. Then Mama D called her, asked her to wash Hammy. Oh, baby. Wrong move. But she can. She just had a procedure, she said, though. So I don't know. Maybe she See? can. See? Mama, she just said her mama had a whole procedure. But she said, look at her. That's the look of shame, because she knows she done screwed up by saying that. She shouldn't have never told us that Mama D just had a procedure. See, she regretting that. Because, by the way, she was talking probably this whole video up until this point. You wouldn't have known Mama D just had no procedure. By the way, she talking. we You wouldn't have known that. Now, this is the look of shame, because she wished she wouldn't have said that. Yeah. Yup. Yeah. But all I know is that I said, okay, I'll come over and I'll help you out. But I had to think about it. And then my money wasn't there, y'all. Wow. I can't be lifting it all over. That don't make wasn't you just on a date with um that old at the old uh Chinese or wherever y'all was at? At the old buffet? Wasn't then you just hit a move. You just hit a lick. You mean to tell me you ain't got Uber fare? You done already paid for the food and the meal. You went and got them hooves done and got an old lash strip, you know what I'm saying? Throw it across your eyes. You know what I'm saying? So I mean you you mean you ain't got no you Dang, you ain't got no change left over? <laughs> wow. Town? Get out of here. Now, I had a dentist appointment yesterday. No, you did. You the liar. Healthcare ride. The healthcare ride came and got me. And from the dentist, he dropped me off at the nail salon. The she lying right there. Because back when I ain't had no credit, this was a long, long time ago. When I was first had, I don't know if it was my first or my middle kid. And I used to have to um, go to the doctor and take the little rest. They is not finna drop you off. At no nail salon. They have to drop you back off at the location. First of all, the insurance is paying for the ride. The ride is already free. So, and then, you know, they got um, the little GPS. I mean, the job is tracking the people that, so you're lying. He has to drop you off or they have to drop you off where they picked you up at your destination was the dentist. He was supposed to get you there and they were supposed to get you back to your original destination, not the nail salon. So you're lying. You lie too much, Adrian. You're lying. Healthcare ride, y'all. Okay. He dropped me off. So You lying. You lying. Like, trust I me, she lying. I enough money to lift myself back home. Because I sure wasn't going to lift it to her house and get stuck there doing all type of chores and shit I don't want to do. So, <laughs> I did the smart thing and the right thing. Okay? Took care of what Adrian need to do. Go to the dentist. Thank you. Even though it's still not resolved. But I did it. Healthcare ride. 
Please. Had him drop me off. Healthcare ride. But then from the nail salon, I... Can I get a couple more likes? Because I'm about to go ahead and end this live. I ain't going to be here too much longer, y'all. To take a lift. So it was going to be either back to my place or hers. And honey, I'm coming home. Because I have a piece of mine here. Okay? Ain't nobody hollering. Do this. Do that. Do this. Ain't nobody hollering, baby. I have peace here. And I think that's what bothers that lady more than anything. Seemed kind of backwards. She get to be lazy in peace, honey. Yeah, she get to be lazy in peace. She don't want to be bothered not knowing that people got rules up under their house. If you're going to stay with them and stay, you know, up under their roof, they might want, you know, <laughs> wash the dishes. You can't wash the dishes. You know what I'm saying? You can't run the sweep or run the mop. Like, come on, man. Like, like she don't want to do nothing. She think everything is supposed to be handed to her. Everything is supposed to be free. Everything. She's the queen. You know what I'm saying? Everything is supposed to be handed to her. Everything. Everything is on her time for her convenience. You know what I'm saying? When she ain't got nothing going on. What is? What are you talking about? Let saying say. Yeah, yes, yes, definitely. Of course, Bill Khalid, I, I definitely agree. I... Mm -hmm. I know it's backwards and it's going to stay that way, baby, because I'm not allowing anybody to do me, including my mother. Girl, you're going to have to get behind me and stay back there. OK, I will call and I will check on you according to me. All right. Not according to you. Now, what type of shit is that? Did y'all hear that? What type of crap is that? Let me run that back one more time. This is crazy. Oh, and I will check on you according to me. All right? Not according to you. And this is what you... She's so goofy and nasty. What do you mean you're going to call and check on her according to you? Excuse? You just told... <laughs> But you just said Mama D had a procedure. That, the things that you're saying ain't even making no sense. It's not adding up. You, you don't, you're not making no sense. you just hateful. And like I said, this is even more being more, it's making it more clear to whoever had blinders on that you don't care for your mother. This is a clear indication that you do not really care for your mom. Now, I don't know. You might have a reason to really not um, deal with Mama D the way that you, that most parents, uh, people deal with their parents. You know what I'm saying? You might have a legitimate reason. We don't know that. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe in, um, in Adrian's head, she feel like she don't deserve, Mama D don't deserve her to be, um, you know, coming to her every beck and call. Maybe she got something in the back of her head that's, you know what I'm saying? We don't know. Because like I said, I, I could tell uh, Mama D's attitude and the way she wrote that she's something else too. Now, I don't think she don't strike me to believe to be no saint. I don't believe that she no saint. But at the end of the day, this this shouldn't be the way, you know, the way Adrian be carrying on. Only At least Mama D got enough sense to not bring it to YouTube. Because she could if she wanted to. She got a whole channel. And Mama D did that one video. You know what I'm saying? And that's another reason why Mrs. Days hate her. Because she was over in my, in Naturals, the comments. And put her on blast. So that's another reason. That's just one of the reasons that we know. We don't know. The, the, there's a lot of reasons we don't know. So listen... My point is, Adrian do not like her mama. Period. To understand, okay? <laughs> you don't run anything, only in your household. And I ain't in your household no more. So thank God. Woo! Thank God. Honey. I she mean that. Y'all see that? She said, woo! Oh. Household no more. So thank God. Woo! Thank God. She meant that. Mama D, what you be having going on over there? Is, is it that bad? Mama D, relax. Now, you can't expect somebody to run over there and help you if you're going to be act, acting like you ain't got no sense now, Mama D. Because at the end of the day, don't nobody owe you nothing. Huh? And that's why, you know, some parents need to watch how they treat their children. If they're going to grow up and they're going to need, you know, they're going to grow up and need you. And so, you know, sometimes it might not always work out for you. Honey, I have it. You got Bugs Bunny. So what's going on, Renee? On this morning. I want to watch that. What's going you know, on, CN? Calling me or texting me early this morning because I sent her if a I miss anybody. Else, and she said, What's up, Lisa? Everybody in the building, shout out. Hit that like button for me. Nail slime, but you can't get over here. Honey, 
I don't have to explain it. Even though I clearly just did in this video, I don't have to though, and I'm not obligated. So once I get my things out of this lady's house, okay, out of her basement, which ain't bothering nobody, she- Girl, you should have been got your clothes about her basement. Do y'all think Mama D would be petty? Cause she already said Mama D threatened to throw her, um, her clothes away. Do y'all think Mama D would do that? I don't. I think I, I, I don't. Cause like for what? Don't know for what? She uh -huh. get down there back and forth her, with her mobility. Talk yeah. about throwing it away. Well, go throw it away, honey. <laughs> Look, she wanted to say, you can't even get down there to throw it away. You know, she's so shady. Wow. She said, if you, you can get down there and throw it away, then good luck to you. Basically, that's what she's saying. If you can make it down there, then throw it away, girl. Her basement, which ain't bothering nobody. She can't even get down there back and forth her, with her mobility. Talk about throwing it away. Well, go throw it away, honey. <laughs> like I See said, it's going to so be a beautiful evil. day today, and I'm going to enjoy it, people. Oh, yeah, I'll be outside today. Enjoy. Oh, hell. Oh, my well, God. I guess we got some of them old dry ass videos feeding the birds and meteorologist Adrian Slade. I guess we can look forward to that, honey. All right, God. Anyway, take a breather sometimes. Don't make it about nobody else. You don't have to mm -hmm. get upset. Yes, Ian, I don't agree. Don't make it about nobody else. Make it about you. And when you get ready to do things, I don't care who it's for, then do it on your terms. Don't allow people to come in and steal your door. Yep. Interrupt. Yep. Anytime it don't go her way, she is always mad. Thank you, Renee. I totally agree. And so that's how we know. She don't never tell the whole story. We're not going to know the whole story. She, her agenda is to throw Mama D up under the bus and do a video because she know Mama D going to watch the video. Like I said, if Mama D, just like everybody, like as far as her YouTube views, if everybody just crack down and give Adrian a, a real, real taste of her medicine and really hit her where it hurts, which is her views and uh, her mama being the only person that she has. Now, I ain't tell her, Mama D, you got to teach, sometimes you got to play hardball. Teach this grown, but she 51 years old. Teach her a hard lesson. I know it's hard, but she 51 years old. Let her get it how she live. You know what I'm saying? She don't appreciate nothing. She don't like you. As quick as she don't need you, she always throwing you up under the bus, but she want to keep it open because she knows she might need you again and she need that window to be able to slide back in. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be that naive. You know what I'm saying? You can't be. Come on, man. You're supposed to be OG. I don't, I don't care how. I, I, I ain't about to let one of my children get over on me when you are 51 years. No, you're not about to be running game on me. Are you serious? You're not about to. My kid ain't finna run game on me. No way. You're going to get it out there and you're going to get it how you live, especially if you're disrespectful. Please. You're a day with therapists because they don't feel good. Don't do it, people. Okay? Do it when you feel like you're ready. See? And that's my advice to the people today. Don't that's when she's been the fits. When she's benefiting from it. That's when she, you know what I'm saying? Because she, like I said, she's not calling Mama D asking, Mama, is there anything I can do for you? Do you need any help? Can I do this? Can I... You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you ain't even got no vehicle. So Mama D look good be having a caretake. You ain't got nothing. You can't even... If she not feeling good, she got to come pick you. She got to get up out of her bed to come and pick you up. For you to do anything, and you getting something out of it. Because if she getting up picking you up, nine times out of ten, you got to stop by pick and save. You got to stop by the Dollar Tree. You know, one of the more raggedy ass. But you always got to stop by one of the most spots to grab your old can of oranges or, you know, spam or whatever it is that you do. You know what I'm saying? So you just you just ain't work for them. And you mad because she got a paid, um, what you call it? That's why you mad. You mad because she was supposed to cut you a check to do nothing? To drag around and live rent free? And eat up her food? My girl, you. Including your mama. Okay? <laughs> Look at her. Don't let nobody there she was feeling. You. Absolutely. Including. That's all it would take is for everybody to stop watching her. Just give her no play, no views. Come on, what's she gonna do then? That's that 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 that's how you hit her. She's done, and we all know that. It's facts. It's facts. She has nothing else to fall back on. Nothing. You know. So. Mm -mm. Your mother. Okay. Sometimes family do things because they're family. They know you can't get rid of them. Okay. You can stay the hell away from them now, but I'm just saying. They can stay the hell away from you. Quit acting like you the one that's making the rules as far as that. Listen, people staying away from you. You not not fucking with them. They not fucking with you. 
So don't don't try to make it seem like that you the person that cut everybody off in your family. No, you, you the person that everybody cut off. Quit playing, Adrian. Do things because they feel like they can. But honey, you can you do have an option. You do have a choice. You can stay the hell away. Mm-hmm. You sure can. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and show me some love on that cash app. Dollar sign chat 81 cash. Buy your girl a soccer, you know what I'm saying? A summer bottle of wine for the one time. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button. Super chat is open as well. Go ahead and show some love. Support the channel. You know what I'm saying? On this nice Saturday. See, someone was just leaving a comment saying, I seem so much happier. Yes, I do. I'm in a place where I'm not bothered. My nerves are not um, irritated. I can hear myself think. I'm not running around here losing my phone like I was when I was at my mother's house. My phone is my livelihood, but when you got a person in your in your ear, you know. No, so. no is she a narcissist? Um, mm hmm. Yeah, Renee, I totally agree. She is a narcissist, definitely. If you don't, yes. If you, if you pay Adrian Dust, she's mad about it, honey. And then that's what she want to come and expose. When ain't nobody really uh, giving her no attention, they paying her dust. That's what she feel the need to come out and expose. Because she got this so-called platform. You know what I'm saying? She just... What's going on, not just me? Yeah, honey. And I, uh, right. And I only watch it for my uh, commentary. Uh, you know, cause other than that, honey. And like I said, I don't watch uh, all her videos. It's, it's, it's dreadful. It's impossible. Miss Days ain't never got going, nothing going on. She damn sure not about to give me no advice about nothing. She killed me with that. She, we ain't nobody about to watch. And we, like I said, we damn sure not about to watch her eat. The way she eat, I don't, I don't know if she watched those videos back. Mama, do you need to be explaining to your daughter how she need to uh, have some manners about herself? I know she feel like that she want to do it to irritate the people that's watching, but that's weird. Cause don't you want people to come back and, and don't you want don't you want people to like you? It's like she want people to not like her. She do everything that she can to irritate people and to make people not like her. I don't get that. That don't make no sense. Don't nobody carry on the way she be eating. The way she be eating is intentional. It's crazy. Nobody has to eat like that. I mean, it's nasty. That makes her look nasty. So I don't. I don't. I just don't understand. It's not getting her anywhere. What's your logic? Maybe you should clean it up. Clean it up. Maybe you should look presentable. If you're going to eat, have some manners about yourself. Get cleaned up. Look presentable in the face. Wash your hands. You know, don't nobody want to see nobody with some dirty hooves eating and smacking like a pound puppy. It's ridiculous. Look at your face. You ain't, you're just ugly. You're nasty. You will make a person lose their appetite. Nobody's going to be hungry watching you. That's the whole point. Muckbanger is supposed to make you hungry, right? Because if you watch the right person, yeah, you're going to be like, damn, you know, that look good. I won't. You know what I'm saying? But this bra right here? I said this bra right here? Mmm. Look at her. You can't hear yourself think. That's when I knew it. No, baby. No, I'm too old for this. You can order around your personal care uh, part worker. Okay? Order her around and good luck. Mmm. Because I know her very well. She's like family. She has a family, too. Look. So now she... Uh-oh, uh-oh. So she know that's why Adrian really mad. So now just is somebody that's closer... That's close uh, to the family. I guess, I guess a family friend. Something like family. So this is somebody that's been around. So she's not going to mention whose name that is. We'll never know. But this is the real reason that Mrs. Days is mad. Because Mama D done went and got an, a caretaker to where... She's willing to pay or, I guess, you know, sign documents for the government to pay. However, the ball bounce, she's being paid on uh, Mama D's behalf. And Adrian is mad about it because she mentioned it. She said it in several um, of her videos prior saying that she was going to be Mama D's caretaker or she wanted to be Mama D's caretaker. She meant to, mentioned that quite a few times when she was staying with Mama D. But it never worked out. It never came. It never, it never worked out. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like this is the real reason right here. This is the root of this video. This is why she mad. Because she not mad at Mama D calling and talking about some washing hammy. This It just don't make no sense. But like I said, if you if you really listen to Mrs. Days, you will get down to the bottom of it. You know what I'm saying? Because she can't hold water. <laughs> Won't hop in there, but can't hold it. Mm. Um, you know, 
But it's just that my mother don't dare try to treat people the way she treat me. I'm the one that she treats the worst. Ain't that a bitch, y'all? It's just so weird. But, yeah. Would you say, well, now you just watched the video. He was telling the story about. Uh-huh. So at any rate, y'all, don't let nobody interrupt you, please. Don't let anyone interrupt your peace, including your mama. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned. Ah, oh, man. So, yeah, that was that, y'all. So, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and end this lap. I'm hungry. I'm about to go ahead and find me some of this perch. I got some coleslaw in there. I think that's all I want is just the um, fish in the coleslaw. You know, some of some hot sauce and some bread. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I hope everybody is having. <laughs> you said she was complaining about her knees. And couldn't move. She. Yeah. Listen. Mrs. Days don't care nothing about nobody. Mrs. Days do not like her mama. She wouldn't give a damn what uh, Mama D got going on. Like I said, if it wasn't benefiting her, she wouldn't give a damn. I don't even believe that Mrs. Days be calling Mama D the way she said. I believe it be Mama D doing the calling. But I mean, she know that Mama D is, um, she know, Mom, she know that she is the only person that Mama D got. And so she's going to use that to her advantage, but she's going to do it in a good, in a, in, not, in a not so good way. Because she's just evil. She's just an evil woman. You know what I'm saying? And she, she really got some, um, some deep rooted issues when it comes to her mama. It's really some reasons why we see this kind of reactions when she's speaking about her mom it's like no like wow you know what i'm saying it's just like wow <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean we all know that she throw everybody up under the bus but man like you would think that shit this your mama you would keep that between y'all you wouldn't bring that to the youtube streets you would think that but whatever but all right i'll talk to y'all next time peace